cactus and succulent growers, it's Lynn. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why does your cactus never grow? Now, this was actually a question by um, a wonderful subscriber called Mandy. And it's actually one of the questions for the part three of my um, succulent can cactus Q&A video that I'm going to be getting done in the next few days. So do stay tuned for that, guys. And Mandy wanted to know, she says, I've had a cactus for about six years and it has never grown. So what, Lynn, why does my cactus never grow? And it's one of them questions that it's, I can't answer it in a shorter reply. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to make a special video about this. I'm going to explain some of the reasons why you have a cactus that never seems to grow. Now the first reason could be, is it still alive? If you've had a cactus for many years and it hasn't done absolutely anything, it looks exactly the same since you bought it, then um, check that it is still alive. And some cacti can get dry rot and they rot internally. So on the outside, they look okay. And it's only when you go to pick the cactus up or you go to repot or check it, they realize it's hollow in the middle. And this dry rot is, can be very annoying. So give the cactus a little bit of a tap and if it makes a very hollow sound, take it out of the pot and do check, check, the, check over the roots because a rotten cactus that has dry rot will often be completely hollowed out. And uh, also another reason as well, if you see the cactus going yellow or it's red or anything like that, do take it out of the pot and check. A cactus can be very slow growing, certain types of cacti like Areocarpus and other, the, Me the rare Mexican species can be slow growing and can take many years before they really look much different. For example, a lot of it will be, with a lot of my um, Lophophoras are very slow growing, but if it doesn't do anything in five years, and it looks exactly the same, there's something wrong there. So obviously check that the cactus is still alive. The second one, if your cactus isn't growing, it's really important that you check over the, the root system. Check the root system and also the body of the cactus because if a cactus has pests, such as mealybugs, uh, mealybugs are little white woolly nests and they love to hide in, in cacti along the areoles, especially in woolly cacti such as this mammillaria here. They're very hard to see because the woolly nests are, are hidden amongst all the sort of natural wool and with the, the white areoles. So do thoroughly check over your cactus that there's no hidden pests in between the, um, the little joins of your cactus because they will suck out the energy from your cactus and stop it from growing. And especially with root mealybugs, root mealybugs are hidden. They're hiding underneath the cactus in the, along in the root system. You usually don't notice them until you go to repot. So if you haven't repotted your cactus for a few years and it's just not really growing, it doesn't need repotting because the pot's okay, the roots aren't coming through, it's not really doing anything, do remove it from the pot and and check over the roots as well because a cactus that just sits there and doesn't grow can also have problems with the roots either the roots have completely died back and rotten or you've got root mealybugs or vine weevils or other pests that's preventing your cactus from growing the same with um, the cactus itself on the body do check for pests get a little magnifying loop out check really carefully that there's no signs of um, insect pests that suck in the life out of your cactus and prevent it from growing the third reason your cactus isn't growing is where do you keep the cactus? I see so many, um, especially on Instagram, a lot of cactus photographs of cacti where they've got them in the living room, right in the, in the ta on the table in the living room or on top of their bookshelf or in other places where the cacti are getting very little light. Now cactus plants need, the majority of cactus plants need strong sunshine to grow. If they're sitting there in a dark corner or in a sunless window or in the middle of a room on top of a bookshelf or in an office a lot of people have cacti in their work offices completely away from windows or under complete artificial light that are not grow lights a cactus you know may not necessarily die it would just literally sit there and do nothing so if you have your cactus in a dark position or it's in a sunless window or on top of a bookshelf or in the middle of a table and uh, you might think oh it looks lovely there because it looks nice it's you know looks very decorative cacti are living 
they're living plants you know they need light and uh, if you don't give them the light they won't grow and will eventually sort of die because they need that if the only place you can have your cactus in a place where there's no natural sunlight do think about getting a plant special plant led grow light that you can install over your cactus because this will give them the full spectrum light that they need to grow so this is a necessity the correct lighting don't have your cactus in a dark um, dark position the next one is, do you water it? <laughs> I've, I've lost count of how many people have said, oh, you grow cacti, or at least you don't have to worry about watering them. Well, cacti are plants and they need water. And it's, it's a complete myth that you don't have to water a cactus or you very rarely water a cactus. Cacti do need to be watered. In fact, during the spring and summer months, the growing season, cacti are like any other type of plant. They love plenty of water because they're actively growing. The trick is to give them a good water and let the soil totally dry out again before you water them again. If you just water your cactus once a year, like I've heard some people say, when, as and when they remembered, you said, it's a tiny bit of water once or twice a year, it won't grow. It may not necessarily die because cacti are very drought resistant, but it certainly won't grow. So do bear in mind if you have a cactus, don't be scared to water it. Make sure that it's in a very well draining cactus soil. And from spring and summer, when the cactus should be coming into their active growth and growing, do give a good watering and um, let the soil dry out again before watering again. And the same with fertilising as well. It's good to give cactus plants a bit of fertiliser because this will also give them a kick into growing. And I like to use cactus fertiliser. I use something called Kempak. And I also like to use tomato feed because that helps to encourage blooming as well. And I would fertilise my cacti and succulents from sort of April time up until the um, middle of August with um, a light half a strength feed of tomato feed or cactus fertilizer and I'll use that with roughly with every third to fourth watering that I give them so they do like to be fed and yes cacti do like to be watered too the next reason your cactus never grows is first of all talking about the, the roots again do check what your cactus is potted up in a lot of people say oh, I bought this cactus a few years ago and I've never repotted it and I've just put it in the window and forgot about it and just watered it every now and then it never grows but a lot of cactus plants are sold in very poor quality soil and if you're lucky enough to get them from a very good cactus nursery where they're potted up in proper soil or you get them bare rooted and you can pot them up yourself cactus plants that are got from a lot of the shops uh, they usually potted up in pure peat and while a cactus can sort of go like that for a year or two over time it, it's just very bad for the cactus the roots often die back and dry up or the cactus just won't thrive there's no nutrients in just pure peat and uh, also the fact that um, cacti don't like to be potted up in peat they're like a well draining cactus soil so do check over the root system take it out the pot and you know maybe a fresh repot as well if you've had a cactus and the roots look okay and uh, you water it it's in a sunny position you're doing everything right but you've not repotted it for a few years because it's in the same pot and it's not not needing a bigger pot or anything like that just give it a fresh repot as well I like to sort of give all my cacti a fresh repot at least once every five years I would do it a lot more if I didn't have so many because I find when I do repot them even if I'm putting them into the same pot again I just take the old as much as the old soil off as I can and freshen it up with fresh well draining cactus soil I find they put on a real growth spurt then because they like that fresh fresh soil so do give them a repot if they're just sitting there and they're not really doing anything so then just a quick re recap why does your cactus never grow check that it's still alive the obvious one and uh, remove it from its pot do check over the roots do check over the plant body there's no signs of pests both in the roots and in the actual plant itself and um, fresh repot every few years gives it a nice boost give it plenty of sunshine and sunlight because cactus plants do not like to be in the middle of a room on a living room table or on top of a bookshelf or in a dark dingy office where you work or anything like that they do need bright light if you can't give them that do get a plant led grow light so um, plenty of sun 
And also don't forget to water your cactus during the spring and summer months. Keep dry during the winter unless you have an epiphytic cactus such as these here, these type of epiphytes, the Ripsalis. But um, do keep dry over the winter months if it's a desert cactus and then so, uh, water during the spring and summer months. So I hope you found that video useful and you have a bit more of an idea why your cactus isn't growing. You might have learned something from the few tips in the video. And thank you, uh, Mandy, for the question. And stay tuned for the part three of the Q&A video coming up over the next few days. And thank you so much for watching. For lots more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe. Before you go, do leave a comment in the video down below in the comments, even a heart or smiley face, because every comment really does help the algorithm. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon and don't forget to check my website out desertplantsofavalon.com. I want to wish you all a fantastic happy growing cactus powered day.